Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to my shop. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my routers for guide bushing templates. Now my main router, which is a Bosch 1617 ESV, the standard plate with this doesn't accept the Porter Cable bushing guides. So, what we have to do is add in a universal template and this fits on here perfectly well and I can get it perfectly centered on there. Also, I'm going to do on my DeWalt DWP611 router, which is a compact router, and it comes with base plates that accept the Porter Cable standard bushing guides. That works great, and we can center up the same way using the centering pin as with the other one. I will show you how I do this. This is about positioning and centering the router plate with the bushing guide installed. You want to center the bushing guide and the router bit as close as you can. It is the most critical in joinery applications such as dovetails where you need a snug fit to make it work right. For other applications such as following patterns or sign making it may not be as critical. Now the router plate is the one adjustable part to perfectly center the bushing guide to the router shaft and thus your router bit. Now I have two primary routers that I use. I've got a Bosch 1617 EVS PK which is a two and a quarter horse and it comes with fixed and plunge bases. And I think the uh, PK at the end of the model number means it's a package deal it comes with those two bases. Also I've got a DeWalt DWP 611 PK another package deal. This one's a compact router that's got a one and a quarter horse motor and it comes with fixed and plunge bases. So first, I'm going to show you how I set up the universal plate adapter on my Bosch router. And this base plate is model 575B from Jasper Tools. And this is available online, and I'll put a link in the description below. Also, I'm using a Wood River bushing set that is Porter Cable compatible. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now the packaging that this base plate comes with gives hole locations and references based on the make and model of your router. Remove the plastic wrap from the plate and make note of these while the base plate is on the packaging so you can match the hole locations on your router base. In my case, I used colored Sharpie markers to identify these on the adapter plate and on my router bases. There are two for my router since I have a fixed and a plunge base. Each base has different hole locations. Now in this video, I can just show you how it works on my Bosch router. Here, I will put up an image of the packaging and how I identified my router base holes. Now in this, at the top center area, you'll see where I underlined in red the Bosch 1617 router. And I made a red outline around that hole and then the other two holes that also line up with that. Then to the lower right a little bit, you'll see where I underlined the Bosch 1617 in a blue. Then I made a bold blue line around those circles. Now those are in black, so it's a little bit hard to see, but I marked around those boldly in a blue color. Now to coordinate with my router bases, I marked the matching holes in colored Sharpies also. Here you'll see some images of the holes on the bases of my routers that I marked in the various colors. These Sharpie markings are going to wear off on the base plates and the bases of the router after some time. So I mark them down further around the lower parts of the holes and the sides where the holes are. Hopefully those will remain longer and give me opportunity to remark these holes again. Now the DeWalt compact router comes with bases that accept the standard Porter Cable bushing guides. And I'll show you how to center those base plates and the router bits on that also. Here I'm going to put this universal base plate onto the base of my router. Now this router, I'm just going to show you how I do it on the fixed base. The plunge base is going to be exactly the same process. Just a different base is all. And you can see in this how I've marked the holes in the various colors so I can line up the holes on the bottom of my router base. Also, I put this black mark on here to help me get a quick alignment with these holes. And I'll line that up with this mark here on the router base. What comes with this is this tube that has in it a bunch of screws for the various types of routers and different size screws. Also, the centering pin is in here, kind of inside this rubbery cap. I put on this string here just so I can hang it on a pegboard. 
I'll take this off. Got the centering pin here. I'll set that aside for later use. Then I've got the screws that I use. And I've got these marked with the colors that match the router base that I'm doing. Got some marked in blue and some marked in red. The difference is, is that the red ones for the plunge base are actually a smaller screw for that base. So have to use different screws for that. So that's why I want to keep track of them so I know I'm using the correct screws. Then what I'm going to do is to put the router bushing guide into this plate. It just pops right into there. A very snug fit on this plate here. It's a very tight fit. And these are these Wood River bushing guides that I got and they're Porter Cable compatible. So these tighten up very good and stay in place very well. So I'm going to make a cut out here and show you how I attach this to the bottom of the router. Alright, so I've got this lined up here. In this case, I'm going to be using the blue holes and the blue screws. I get these lined up here and get these screws started. And I'll screw them down a little bit so they're just loose. These screws are like a pan head screw, so they're kind of flat. They're not a conical shape. If they were conical, then you'd wind up with uh, no ability to make adjustments on these. And the holes in these are also flat on the bottoms, too so it can allow for adjustment on this okay so got that get this close to tight then i'll back it off a turn that way it gives me some ability to make some movement here to line this up i'll take this pin out of this cap put it in there now this pin is a little bit smaller than the bushing here because i don't want to cause any false centering or restrictions with the pin being too big. I've got that set in there. What I'm going to do is to tighten down the collet nut. Okay, then I'm going to raise the base plate kind of up and down here a little bit. Okay, it's going down, so I'll come back up, get this so it centers up on there. That's good, so it should be good in center. I can go ahead and tighten these screws down. Now you don't have to muscle these down real hard. I'm just snugging them a little bit. It's kind of like doing lug nuts on a car. Then I'll go back around and give them a final tightening. But like I said, it doesn't have to be real tight. But snug enough so it stays in place while you're doing your work. So, All right, so that's set. That should be perfectly centered. Now I can take my pin out. And I'll be perfectly centered for my router bit, ready to go. Now if you're going to change around and use other bushing guides, you can do it while this is all mounted in place here, so you don't have to recenter everything. Everything's going to be based on this plate being centered, which it is now. You can change out the bushing guides now and still be centered. But I put it on before I put the plate onto the base because it's just a little bit easier that way. And also it was easier to show you how I was putting those in. Other than that, you can take them out, get in there and get a grip on it. Change out your bushing. Of course, you got to raise this up a bit to get this knurled nut off or just reuse this knurled nut on this next bushing because they're all the same size anyway, as far as the knurled nut goes. Okay, now this one is the DeWalt DWP611. And this one's very simple. Uh, pretty much the same process as we did before. The bases on this, this is the fixed base and we've got the plunge base here also. They both have the uh, indentations there to accept the standard Porter Cable bushing guides. On this you can see it's got four screws for mounting the plate and they're just like the other one. They're a pan head and a flat bottom hole so it allows you to make adjustment for lining the bit. Now with this, I have to put on the bushing guide. That's a good snug fit in this one. It doesn't move around at all. And then I'll put the nut on the bottom of this and try and give you a view. Uh, you can see I put the nut in there, get that snugged up. Usually on this, I would probably put this into the base plate here and then mount the base plate onto this part. So, we get this under there, get it tightened on. Okay, then I can raise this up. 
put my center pin in there take the wrench that this comes with there's a button here to hold in so that locks the shaft in place then I can tighten up the nut hey so I finally got that snugged up there now what I'll do is raise this base plate up and down loosen up these screws so this plate can move around and get centered okay so I got that so it moves around and I can get it centered I'll raise this up so it centers itself on that pin. Just get it snug, don't have to go real tight against there. Then I can tighten down these screws. Okay, so I got that all squared on there, centered. I can take this pin back out now. Pull that pin out. Now I've got it perfectly centered on there. If I want to change out to a different size guide bushing, I can do that while it's assembled here like that. Or I can just kind of pull this off and do it from that point too. That makes it easier on this one for doing that. And pretty much pretty simple, same way as the other. And you can use this for your templates or other kinds of jigs. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, I'll be coming out with another video here soon that shows how this Bosch Quick Change Adapter works in the standard base plate that comes with this Bosch router, the 1617 EVS. And I'll show you how these adapt out. They got various sizes you can get. There's three sizes here I don't have yet. I don't know if I'll buy them, depends on my need. Also, it has an adapter here that will accept the standard Porter Cable bushing guides. So you can use that in there also. Depends on the application and how you want to use some things. And I'll show you how that lines up uh, with a centering pen that it comes with also. So stay subscribed and you'll see when I come up with this one. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you got the inspiration to get your routers centered up and your bushing guides on good center. If you did, please give me a like and share it with your family, friends, and fellow craftspersons. Also, please subscribe so you can see what I may come up with next and be sure to hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on anything. If the ladies don't find you handsome, at least they should find you handy. So stay tuned and subscribe and see what further tips, tricks, and projects I'll come up with. Thank you.